So it was probably the biggest release from Corsair today, and by far the most surprising, is their A500 air cooler. This is the first air cooler they've released in eight years. Their previous version, the A50 and A70, were low-end air coolers. The A500 most definitely is not low-end. It is coming in at $100, so that's as expensive as you'll find in the air cooling market. It is designed to compete with the Noctua NHD15. The Chromax Black Edition is $100 as well. So it's going to be a tough, tough com competition for, uh, for Corsair. Obviously the NHD15 in either version, the original or the Chromax Black, is the standard by which all others are judged. In my own testing I've found it is superior to every other air cooler. It's also superior to some liquid coolers. So it's going, to be, it's going to be a tough road to hoe for Corsair, but what they've got going for them is a couple of things. First of all, I'll show you on this model here. Really, they focus on a lot of things, not just performance, also the ease of installation. This attractive top plate comes right off, giving you access to the mounting screws that are inside. So you get the benefit of both having that aesthetic top plate on top, but also having really, really easy access to the brackets, which a lot of other brands, I won't mention them today, um, have not achieved. The other thing is these really interesting slide-off fan mounts. You can see I've, you can either raise it for additional RAM clearance, or that's actually how you mount the fan entirely. And the advantage of this system is twofold. First of all, you don't have to mess with the wire clips that so many other brands have and you either break your nail or you cut yourself but also this this um, mounting system right here protects your fingers from the fins themselves so often when you're mounting an air cooler like this you can actually cut your fingers on the edge of these fins because it has this mounting rail here for the fan bracket there's nothing to cut your finger on it's totally smooth here so that may seem like a small thing, but anyone who's handled large air coolers has probably cut themselves. I cut myself every time I install a knock to a cooler or any of the other big air coolers. So this is actually not a small issue. Um, it's, it's, it's a real, you know, in terms of the ease of use for the end user and the kind of the reception that it's, this product's going to get, you know, there's, there's no denying that if you cut yourself while installing a cooler, you're going to feel a little bit less positive about it. So. Corsair has gone out of its way to make this very, very user-friendly, and that means no injuries. Or I guess in the language of Star Wars, no.